friends. So remember last night when I told you that I was planning on climbing to Ella Rock with this group of couch surfers that were organizing an event? Well, it turns out that the event was actually <laughs> from a month from now. So I got that wrong. So there was no event happening today, but I actually did meet some guys from my house. Hey, are you coming with us? Come on. <laughs> I love it. everywhere we go, we just make doggy friends. train tracks and into the jungle. Something pretty funny just happened. We were walking the wrong way for a couple minutes and we noticed the dog wasn't with us. We turned back to go the right way and the dog was waiting for us on the trail. So I think that's a sign that we should just follow the dog because apparently she knows where we're going and we don't. Woo, quite at the top yet, but we just made it to our first viewpoint and this is beautiful. But we got one more climb to the top of Ella Rock. So we'll see you there. This last bit is a little intense, but it's a good exercise. We're making our way up. I believe we're almost there. I hope. Hike is now completely worth it. This view is incredible. Check this out. Best part is our doggy friend made it with us. Super tired, huh? We're currently on Ella Rock. I think it's appropriate if we name her Ella. Ella, good job, Ella. You made it all the way to the top. She's tired. It's cool. After being at the uh, at the beach for a while in the South Shore, only uh, a couple hours north, <laughs> it's such a different landscape up here. It's a nice change of scenery. So you know what I'm a little disappointed about is the fact that I didn't bring my drone. But after the incident yesterday, I'm not going to risk it anymore. While it would be very nice to fly here, I'm going to follow the rules and be a good boy and just admire the view with my own two eyes. And a pretty interesting series of events happened to us right after we saw that elephant, which we saw an elephant, right? Yeah. Right on the side of the road. It was, it was a little intimidating because it started to but we looped around and I tried to get a little GoPro shot of that. It was, that was really cool. And then immediately after that, we got pulled over. Um, a few army men jumped out of a big truck because I did something that I wasn't supposed to do. I flew my drone. We were on that road, B-35, and there was no one around. It felt like we were in the middle of nowhere. So I haven't flown my drone the entire time I've been in Sri Lanka. I heard you're not supposed to fly drones right now during this high security risk time, so I haven't been flying. We were just in the middle of nowhere and I felt like now could be a great opportunity to just get a drone shot of the tuk-tuk. I wasn't even flying high. I was flying maybe 10 feet above the ground and I got a quick little shot of the tuk-tuk. To be honest, it wasn't even that great of a drone shot, so it wasn't even worth it. But apparently, there was an army base really close by and there was a truck driver that drove by when the drone was in the air and he was a little tattletale and he got the army men and they came over and interrogated us and searched everything and brought us to the police and we were like trying to communicate with them that we were only flying it because we're tourists and I was making a YouTube video and they were just they were just doing their job. While I would love to show you an amazing aerial view all you can get is a little panorama, but maybe that's nice because you can come here for yourself and really appreciate it because obviously on video it never does a view justice, so I recommend to come here and meet this guy. He'll sell you some juice and fruit. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Gini. I'm Gini. Yes. All right. I'm Steve. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice too. to meet you too. You live over here? Yeah. You come here every day? Oh, oh, oh yes. Do you, you live up here? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you walk? No. I don't need it. So you walk up here every day? Yeah, yeah. Morning, I mean, six o'clock. Six o'clock? Yeah. Until what time you leave? Uh, I go back um, four o'clock. Four o'clock. And you sell fruits? And yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. It's a nice place to work, huh? Yeah. It's a good exercise coming up here every day. I'll tell you that much. I'm yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> I think you 
All right, fresh mango juice. Yeah, you do that. Oh, that's good. That's Very good. Tasty. <laughs> Very tasty. That's yeah. so good. All right, thank you. Thank you. He was just telling us how there is another viewpoint about 10 minute walk from here, so we're gonna go check that out now and see if it looks any different. Come with us, Ella. Ella, do you wanna come with us? Come on, come on. Hey, that's a good girl. She's coming with us to the next viewpoint. <laughs> it's so funny, as soon as we got there, she passed out. When we started leaving, she didn't want her to leave her, leave her mates. You think I can fit her in the tuk-tuk and travel around with her? <laughs> cool, this guy was right. There's another incredible view. Maybe a five minute walk away. Wow. You can see a whole different angle now. This is nice. So over there somewhere is another very popular viewpoint called Little Adams Peak. And I haven't been there yet, but I've heard it's a much easier hike. You said you've been to Little Adams Peak, right? Yeah. Which one do you think is better compared to Ella Rock or Little Adams Peak? If you had to do one. Yeah, you should do Ella Rock. Ella Rock? Yeah, the view is more amazing. Cool. But it's like going to Little Adams is much easier. Yeah. Like, like you said before, it's quite a steep climb here, but yeah. it's much, much nicer. Worth it. It's harder to get to Ella Rock, but much more worth it. Yeah. All right, after seeing some amazing views, we're gonna begin our hike down. I'm gonna put my camera away, so we'll see you somewhere else. So we just made it to the Nine Arch Bridge area. As you can see right behind me, that's the famous Nine Arch Bridge. Unfortunately, we did just miss the train. The train drove by as I was walking down from up there, but it's still really cool to be here. I know this is a very famous spot. So I was trying to look for a cool viewpoint for a photo and I found this random trail over here, but now I think I'm gonna go down actually onto the bridge and explore over there. Ah, okay, I've walked down a little bit and this is where you get a view of the entire nine arches. Really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, confirmed. There are indeed nine arches here. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love how lush and green the area is. Very lively environment. I like it, I like it, it's nice. So we got the beautiful Nine Arch Bridge over here. We have a lovely man farming down there. Hello, is this tea? <laughs> tea, <laughs> yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, up in the hills of Sri Lanka, there's tea growing everywhere. And even right here, just tea every mountainside. It's, it's, it's cool, it looks very nice. Tea, the way tea grows. I think tea and rice are the two most beautiful plants when they're growing. They're so green, so vibrant, so lively. I like it. I like it. I keep saying that. I like it. <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, head out of here and go get some lunch because I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. <sighs> Let's go get some yum yums. All right guys, just refueled my belly. Got some delicious food. Chicken rotu, which was so delicious. And now it's time to refuel this bad boy over here. I got all my stuff packed in the tuk-tuk. I'm gonna be heading to a place called Haputale, which is about one hour away from here. I got in contact with the couch surfing host who's gonna host me, who I believe also owns a guest house. So I don't know if I'm staying at a guest house or with his family, so. I'll be showing you that very soon, but that's going to be in the next episode. We're going to end this one here. I really hope you've enjoyed traveling around so far here in Sri Lanka. If you're not already, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and leave a like and maybe a comment down below if you enjoyed so much. Let me know what you enjoyed.